Well, I mean, the one great thing about, you know, Tadich's and what we're really trying to promote here is that it's a comfortable place, it's a place that, you know, almost like the cheers kind of aspect where it's, I mean, you'll go into Tadich's and you'll come in here and, you know, give us some, some more days and we'll learn your name. We want to be a great place that people come to eat, hang out, everybody's comfortable. Uh, we're going to talk about the Hangtown Fry, the ingredients, so we want to start, start with the fresh oysters and you're going to do a basic egg wash and uh, bread them and then we're going to flash fry them a little bit in uh, olive oil and uh, after that we make an omelet. We've got some bacon that's already been pre-made or cooked on the side on the ponch grill and uh, we do a, a two oysters, two strips of bacon, three eggs, make a nice little omelet with it. There's a few things on there that we do as well that, uh, you know, those three steps are enough for you to know. And um, yeah, it just, it doesn't sound like ingredients that would go together, but uh, the freshness of the oysters and when that meshes with the bacon and with the fat, you know, the saltiness, and um, it just really makes a really nice marriage together with that omelet. So, okay, when people would be sentenced to death and they would ask, you know, what their final meal would be, they uh, would order something that was very obscure. In Hangtown, Placerville, um, it was all about adding days of life to, to the end of their, their sentence, so um, being in, you know, inner California, they had to ship the oysters in from uh, the bay, and that took, you know, days by, uh, by horse and buggy. Um, and eggs were, you know, somewhat scarce, not too bad, but uh, it was just all about that extra couple days of life and hoping for a pardon or something. But...